click. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to use trajectories in Scratch. Let's get started. So first, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and when I receive message, and then you're going to want to choose your message, I'll use shoot. And then what you'll do is you will add a pin extension, rather the pin extension. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and erase all, pin up, and then go ahead and choose where you want your sprite to be. I'll choose right there. And then we don't want it to be the cat, so delete, and then make a circle or whatever shape you want to use. I'll just use a circle. There's that. And now grab a go to block, go to those coordinates because it auto fills once you're there. Time to add some variables, add angle. This will be used to control what direction we're shooting the cannon. And then this one will be velocity. This is how we're gonna control how fast we shoot it. So go ahead and show both of those and make them sliders. Change the angle to z anywhere from zero to 90, and that makes it so it can only go either straight up or this way or anywhere in between there, so it can't shoot behind. And then make velocity, slider, and then keep this range. This is good for what we want to do. Now, if we make a variable, we're gonna want to name it gravity. This is the gravity of, well, the Earth. And so we're gonna go ahead and set this to negative 9.8. This is the gravitational strength of Earth, but you can change that to what you want. So now we're going to point in direction angle, because this is right after we've shot it, so it's going to go ahead and point in the direction. Next up, make some more variables. Name them x velocity, and then y velocity. These are the velocities of the X and Y vectors. And then we're gonna to want to set both of those to zero. And then go ahead and make a green flag block and put it on top of that. So when we start, we're setting it to zero. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and erase all. So now you can duplicate those blocks and then we're gonna to want to actually do the movement. So this is the start of the main code. This is where it gets a bit complicated, but just stick with me. Grab this block and then change it to cosine or cos. So cosine of angle times the velocity. And what this is doing is it's just setting our horizontal speed relative to the angle and the velocity. Now you can go ahead and just duplicate that, put it there, and change it to sine. Nice. So now, pin down, and we're gonna go ahead and start with all this. So the first thing we need to do is, if we go ahead and just run this and like velocity, we're going to want to set the velocity after it's been shot to one because it's not gonna stay really strong after it's shot. It gets shot and then it's on its own. So what we're actually going to do is make a new variable, call it velocity, velocity for calculations. Okay. And then set this at the beginning to the velocity and what this is doing is it's just like a variable that we're gonna have, but like behind the scenes. So we can do whatever we want without having to change this as well. So set it after you set this initially to one. And so now what that's doing is it is now just, it's now basically, it's just setting that so that it's already ready to go so we can set it to one. So this is like right when it's left the barrel and then this is after it's left the barrel. So it's shot here, and then it's free falling from here. Now, repeat until touching edge. This is so that it doesn't just keep falling forever, so it actually stops. 
and then we're going to want to change x position along with y position individually by the velocities so x velocity and y velocity respectively next up we're going to want to add in these blocks that we have from over here but what we're actually going to do is switch it to change variable so we aren't setting it we're just changing it and remember to change these velocity blocks to velocity for calculations because we did that thing earlier so now what we're going to do is for the y velocity we need to actually apply gravity so we're going to do plus gravity and this is just taking away from the initial force of gravity okay nice so that is all of it so the only thing we need now is a way to trigger this so i'm going to do it when space creep pressed but you guys can do whatever you want i'm going to do when space pressed broadcast shoot and wait you need to make sure it's and wait or else it will be very glitchy so now we can go ahead and test this if we go ahead and full screen click the green flag you can change the angle velocity and you see that happens now that doesn't look very good it worked but this trail is not really what we want to fix that we first need to know what's happening what's happening is when it's changing this it's first it's changing the x and then the y when in reality it should just be going from here to here it's actually going here to here so we can fix that by making two new variables calling them x and y and we can just replace all the instances of us changing our x and y actual position just to these variables. So we can change x by x velocity and then change y by y velocity. So that works for over here. Now what we need to do is actually set the position because or else it won't actually appear to be moving even though the variables will be changing. So go do x, y. Now up here it's a bit different. We're going to keep this and then just set the x and y values to x position and y position. So nice. Now if we test it, that looks a lot better. And you can like change the angle, change this. So you see it gets stopped by the wall. So if we you can play around, change this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'm sorry for not uploading for a while. I just wasn't really feeling like it. So now I'm going to start trying to upload at least twice a week. Let's see how long that will stay. I doubt it will stay for long. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.